Oh my good gracious. I think these people are here to see a panda baby. I think we're all here desperate to see a panda baby. And speaking of pandas, the mechanic research is done. Yes, more of the East Asia theme, my friends. We should be able to find quite a few more about that now. Good job, Stan. I am so proud of you. We really probably should be doing some more research on the shelters and other things and souvenir shops. Uh, in fact, maybe we should shift him over to start focusing like on souvenir and drink shops and food shops. Uh, and barriers since this is like getting to be a pretty popular place but we'll worry about that in just a second oh and we have a new gift from reducing crime yay all right our security guard must have been doing their job <gasps> and we have a gift for releasing one of any habitat species to the wild Ooh. well we definitely will have to consider doing that because conservation is a big part of what i want to be doing here but look at this you guys we're getting really popular. There are a lot of people here and I think it's because they want to see our pandas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the way the bamboo comes out. Look at the freaking sunrise next to our sakura blossoms, next to our waterfall. I love this. This is our zoo. This is Zudesia Zoo. These are the pandas. Zizi, or Didi, excuse me, and, and An are going to be the two to start what will hopefully be a long lineage of pandas that we will follow for a very long time. This is amazing. On, how are you doing? Oh, her social is out of control. Oh my gosh, wait, what is happening? Okay, her temperature, she's feeling, I think, is she overheated? I think she's overheated. Oh my gosh, okay, An is actually not having a good time. What's happening with her social? Is it too many... Is she just feeling like, oh my gosh, this is too much stuff. These are too many animals. Uh, her enrichment's over here. Her social's over here. Severe social issues? Is it because we got another panda? Is it because she's ready to mate? <gasps> Look at the cute little pile of bamboo we've gotten here. I didn't know this is how we were feeding Dee Dee. Look at him. Do it again, Dee Dee. That was so cute. I want to see him sit down and eat his bamboo. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that that's how we were feeding them. Okay, that's really cool. All right, but we have a really unhappy panda over here. She's really having a hard time. I think the temperature is just too much for her. So let's actually move one of the coolers over here next to where we're gonna be putting some of her toys. And hopefully she'll get into the water and start feeling better soon. Because our hope is that An and Didi will actually really click and they will end up having some adorable panda babies. But, you know, to get them to have panda babies, we want to have a home where they're happy and thriving. So I do think we need to work on that. And I do think we also need to name our flamingos, take good care of them, get more hard exhibits in, make this place look better make a larger area for our guests to walk. We have a lot to do, you guys, especially because while you guys were gone for just the few minutes that you were in my time, I found some timber wolves. I found timber wolves! So we actually have two timber wolves, a male and a female, to start a pack. And I know that wolves are one of the most favorite animals on our channel. And I know that the you guys, if you had to vote for some of your favorite animals, I know timber wolves would definitely be way up in there. So I do want to make sure that we get a pack started too. I want to get these pangolins in. I want to get the tortoises in. We have a lot we need to do, but I'm glad we're kind of taking it slow and steady. We're getting to know our current animals. We are trying to improve their exhibit, improve their habitats. And we are also trying to make sure, hopefully, hmm, yeah, we're also trying to make sure that we bond with them. And I was just thinking maybe it would behoove our pandas if I moved all of these plants outside of the fence so that then we could have more plants, but they wouldn't feel overwhelmed by it. The flamingos feel a little overwhelmed by all the plants. And speaking of the flamingos, we actually need to go ahead and give them some names really quickly because these guys matter to me too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're mates. We just saw the flamingos doing a mating dance thing together. You guys, how cool was that? They're monogamous mates. Oh, and I think this tells their relationship with each other. That's so precious. Oh my gosh. All right.
right. Well, see, that's why we need to give them names. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Oh my gosh, thanks. Well, I'm trying to coo over how beautiful you are. Well, you know, it goes in, it goes out. But all right, so this is actually going to be Mark J. So Mark J the Flamingo, and that is a name that comes from you guys. You guys leaving comments in our videos, and now you guys getting a chance to come and inhabit our world and help build it up together with us. So if you guys want to be able to end up having yourselves show up somehow, all you need to do is leave a comment, give me some name suggestions, because I really want to bring you in and have that sense of community here. Y'all know that. But all right, so that's Mark J and his mate. Let's actually find his mate again, because I'm going to rename her. <gasps> She's expecting offspring. We can actually see when they're expecting offspring now. That is so cool. All right, so this is going to actually be legend. So this is going to be legend after legendary meme. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no sooner than we just name her, then she's actually going to have offspring. Just how long is the flamingo actually like gestating their egg for? Uh, which I think is below, I, which I know is called being Ovid. So when you are Ovid with an egg, oh, and look at that, I think Dee Dee's climbing again. <gasps> she just gave birth, you guys, legend is a legend. And she has also had a happy, healthy baby girl who we are now going to name let's see all right right over here we're gonna go with a uh, brianna a uh, brianna after one of you guys who has left such sweet comments in our previous videos look at that we've got a whole flock really being built here together and look at this she also has a lot of animal appeal i'm super curious about how she ends up with the animal appeal i is it because she has what are her genes so she's got <gasps> She's super healthy. Look at her immunity. Look, she's playing with the other baby. Oh, we need to name the other baby too. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be Acorn. Oh, you guys, naming everybody after you is gonna be so much fun. Is this Didi? This is indeed Didi. And he is having some severe habitat issues because he is so freaking overheated. He should cool himself off pretty soon, but he does wanna have some different enrichment items. Oh gosh, we really need to get on top of the enrichment items. And look at all of the flamingos. We just have so many of them. We have another female. This is going to be Matril. We'll just name a ton of them really quickly because we have a ton of them and you guys have such wonderful names that we can choose. All right, there's our little acorn. This male over here is actually going to be Wish, which is such a fun name after shooting Wish. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. All right, and then do we have any other females that we haven't named yet? Oh, the water treatment just failed. Okay, we're gonna have to take care of that. But this is actually going to be Queen the Flamingo after Dark Zombie Queen. Oh, welcome guys. Look at that. And the zookeeper is here with some fresh food for them like ASAP. All right, I think the mechanic needs to come. That wall looks a little sketchy to me and make sure that that wall is taken care of. But actually I need the mechanic to come and fix the water treatment plant really quickly. Oh, he is here and we haven't named him yet either. So let me see if I can pull up. This is gonna be butter. All right, so this is going to be mechanic, merchanic, mechanic, butter. After butterscotch, welcome. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved you're here. You're gonna keep our flamingos and our pandas and everybody happy and healthy. All right, is that, <gasps> you guys, 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 do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? We're getting a little bit of sneef sneef. We're getting a little bit of interaction going on here between the pandas. Did you see that? I saw that. Did you see that? Dee Dee. His mate is on. He and on are now mates. Oh my gosh. I don't know if she's pregnant. How long are pandas pregnant for? I think it's ridiculous because they end up having like a little, a little jelly bean baby. As we learned from our panda facts a few days ago, pandas have, in fact, it's a fun fact. I want to make sure I get it right. Pandas have the smallest babies relative to adult body size of any placental mammal. Cubs are eight, oh my gosh, a flamingo just ran by, are 800 times smaller than their mothers. Also, pandas have evolved a, a sixth finger? 
Did you know pandas have six fingers? Because I didn't know pandas have six fingers that help them to strip leaves from bamboo. Fun fact, the giant panda is the only bear species that is entirely herbivorous. Unlike many other animals, pandas are not you unlike un many other animals, pandas are not used in Chinese traditional medicine. Oh, thank freaking goodness for that. Oh my gosh, and our flamingos are just like dashing by and on might be pregnant. We I think we need more keepers. I think we should probably hire another keeper because I have a feeling that our zoo, and we're pulling in some real money now so we can afford to do that. All right, so we just hired a new keeper. Let me get a name for you guys. Oh, Nova, it's you, Nova. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Nova, I know you're a girl, so I'm gonna save your name. And this is going to be Sand, all right. So this is Keeper Sand. After Sandflower of Oak Clan, welcome. The flamingos are all like upset because he's vacuuming everything up. All right, all right, all right. We've got to do some stuff here. We have a lot that we need to do. <laughs> There's so much happening. Okay, Acorn has low welfare because Acorn just needs to learn to walk away from the location that they're at. Apparently they get really lonely. I've noticed social goes way down if they're on this side. So hopefully they'll figure that out for themselves. Uh, whenever the flamingos are near the cool parts, they get really unhappy. So we definitely need to add in some more. Oh my gosh, look at these. It's the, oh my gosh. Look at how cool the Asian theme is. I wanna replace everything with this. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. It's just a little village house, so you can have a little mock village. I can't even handle this. I didn't even think this was possible. And there's like, oh, monkey rocks. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> we have so much more we can do. This is gonna be amazing. We need to get the education rate for the giant panda up to 16% and then we will get another reward. Okay, we do need to get that education up too. Uh, let's actually go ahead and do something about that right now because I have a really cool education bench set. Ooh, that's the exhibit. Oh my gosh, is this? I think this is a really cool education board based on the Asian theme. Let's put that down. It is, look how pretty it is. And can I put in, okay, no, what? Okay, apparently I can't do anything with it though. So we'll go ahead and remove that. I'm sure that there's a trick that I just need to learn. There's these habitat view boards, which are one of my favorite things to add in. So I'm gonna put that here and I should be able, there we go, boom. Instantly come down. We now have more information about the giant panda coming on in, which is great. I can add in another educational speaker on this side because we're going to try to convince the pandas to come and start walking over to this side. So I'm going to add even more education. Pandas are super important in this park. They're kind of there. I, I feel like that's why we have so much money because we started so lucky with our pandas. So let's get the... Let's see, let's get the tropical stuff in here. I don't really care where it's from as long as it can come and be a part of my life. And then let's get a little rock over here. And then we're gonna hide the rock under some nice plants. We also need to get some of the other animal species into our zoo. Cause I know we've been focusing kind of on a few very specific animal species. And we're gonna wanna step it up a little bit. Ooh, look at that little Swiss plant. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, Swiss cheese plant. That's actually what it's called. <gasps> you glorious thing. I didn't know that. All right, let's come and put you over here, friend. Oh, that's so cute. I love a good little pile of rocks and plants. That makes my life very happy. All right, do we have a new, hey, Cooper. Cooper is like visiting a lot lately, giving us some of those nice points. Um. Our flamingos are unhappy because they keep getting cold. So we need to put in some more some more hard habitats for them to go on. And I actually want to make a path that goes up over our exhibit uh, and we can extend the exhibit a little bit. 
And then I want to make... Well, I don't know if we need to extend the exhibit. I feel like maybe we could just go around. But a bridge over the pandas would be really cool. And, like, really helpful. And I want to make, like, a panda mountain. Like, a mountain covered in bamboo at the back. And it'd be kind of cute if we had, like, a mock village on this side. So, like, in the shadow of the mountain. Yeah, that would be nice. And if we do that, I want to expand how big the panda habitat is in the back and have different kinds of barriers as well. So I think we have enough money now that we can potentially hire another mechanic, which would be very useful for us. Since mechanic Butler, how's he doing? He has a really high workload and I want somebody to start being able to do some research. So we're gonna add in another mechanic. Being a mechanic may not seem to be something that's really thrilling to you right away, my friends, but I promise you it is necessary to keep this whole place going. So this is actually going to be Mechanic Leaf. After Gotcha Leaf, aka Cat. There we go. Alright, so Leaf, you actually have an essential job to keeping this whole place going and thriving. Trust me, you have one of the most important roles here. People are actually starting to buy the food. <gasps> the food! We're covered in litter! I haven't- I don't have- I don't have- I don't have a caretaker yet! Also, a critically, vitally important job. Somebody to take care of all of this. So this is actually going to be... Uh, oh my gosh, look at her go. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be caretaker Angelic. Ah, Angelic. There we go. Oh, you guys, we actually have you guys roaming around my zoo. Oh, I'm so happy. So Angelic is from Angelic Wings. Welcome, welcome. Trust me, you too. Oh, she's brushing off the table with her broom. <laughs> you too have a vitally important job. Uh, and I want to get that other mechanic, actually. I want to get both our mechanics researching more stuff. And Mechanic Leaf, I want to see more types of barriers so that we can make the barriers look nicer on more of our exhibits. So we're going to get you going on that. And then, let's see... Another vet? I don't think we need another vet. But let's actually take our current vet. Where is she? Where is she? Miss Rose. And we're going to go ahead and train Miss Rose. I think it is time. She is still listed as a trainee despite having completed so much research. She is here. She's so happy. She feels like this job was made for her. I think that it's like that too. She's pretty well paid right now. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to train her. And training a vet will cancel their research assignment. Okay, we'll go ahead and give her some new research. But she's going to be trained. Oh, hey, JV. Hello, JV. Welcome. Nice to meet ya. Very nice to meet ya. All right. And he, he dropped some of those conservation credits in our, in our little basket too, which is wonderful. All right. And then our security guard. Oh, we need to give our security guard a name as well. So this is going to be our security guard. Uh, guard Lily. After, after Actually, guard Tiger Lily. After Tiger Lilies. <laughs> there. Oh, and now you're going to protect all of our pandas. Oh, we're starting to become like a big family here. <gasps> I thought those were baby pandas. I had a little bit of a moment, but they were not baby pandas. But all right, so... All of that said, I want to expand the exhibit and make it even bigger and better. And I kind of want to do like a wood path up. So we're going to try to make a bridge that's going to go up. And I'm trying to remember how you can, okay, you can make it, oh my gosh, you can make it wider that way. And then you can make it bigger that way. And then how do you go up and down with this. One second. Woo! Okay, I got it! I got it! Oh, I'm so relieved! And there's so many freaking options you can do, you guys! Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, I don't really want path supports to go under it. And then I would like it to be able to do, like, a curve. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so cool. But we need to keep going up. Oh, look at this! Look at this! This is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you can make like stairs, stairs. Yes, I actually, I want stairs. I want stairs. 
there we go. So we can start off with like some stairs going up and over our panda exhibit. Let's go down just a little bit. So we have kind of a nice there. Oh, this is going to be so fun. All right. And now we can go ahead and make the path go down so that people can hopefully like go over where we will expand the panda exhibit a little bit. And then on the other side, we can have like a fake little village, which I think would be really fun. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. I hope this is going to look okay, but we can always change our mind in the future. All right, so maybe this path is kind of big, but I mean, there's going to be baby pandas here eventually. That's going to attract a lot of people. All right, so we'll come and make the path kind of glance at the habitat. And we'll expand the habitat out in the future. And then now we're going to make it come down. There we go. And have some stairs and a little slope. And then you're on the ground again. Interesting. That is so cool. I think I need to make it a little bit more gentle of a slope so that the stairs can be on the bottom like that, just like on the other side. Oh, that's so cool. And now, now I can swap over and we'll do the rustic path again. And then it turns out I can even do railing on elevated path supports curve slope curb on ground path is that <gasps> yes i can actually take away the curves the curb okay that actually looks so much nicer to me i love that look oh there's so many little details that i just need to keep like staring at and learning about can i sh shorten the width i can mm, interesting because i don't actually think i need it this big so i like the idea of kind of shrinking the size of the path somewhat nice and then we can have our little fake village with maybe somewhere for people to kind of eat and they could wander past that like another little eating spot in a little village location interesting interesting i'll kind of leave that uh to interpretation well we can always move the path in the future so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put the path down now just so that it's kind of like there ready to go Kind of nice and organic there very nice oh i really like it without the curve okay that or the curb along the side that is so cool okay it's not very pretty but patience my friends we are learning a lot as we go and then let's come over and we are going to expand our habitat i think we'll let time pass though and we'll do that in the morning because our animals are going to be a little unhappy with us when we expand the habitat. We're going to have to kind of alter it up a little bit. But what I do know that they would really appreciate... Ooh, look at this gate! Are you kidding me? I can put this cool gate at the... Oh my gosh, I should have moved it back. I should have moved it back so that you walked through this gate. I didn't know this gate existed. <laughs> oh, I'm going to move the whole thing now. I don't have a choice. This gate is too cool. And people can't really walk through it right now. They're just gonna like hit their heads if they try. Oh, I didn't know that was there. All right. All right. We're, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta adjust. We, we have to adjust. All right, let's see. Was it six wide? Yeah, it was six wide. All right, so we'll go ahead, do a rustic path to get through that gate. And let's put that cool gate down so that I can see it again. Because that was really awesome. Where's that gate? Look, and there's a flower pagoda. Oh, I love these. I love that you can unlock these and just start building something straight out of your dreams. I can't wait to have different barricades. Oh, there's even a light. There's even light. I can't handle how cool that is. Oh, I'm so in love. I was so in love and I haven't even added my pangolins yet. <laughs> okay. All right. No, I don't want people to like bonk their heads first thing. Uh, let's get down here. I'm going to have to figure out. All right. Let's go ahead. Back up. Back up. Think about this. We're learning together, friends. We're learning together. And then up. So now we can go up. In fact, now we can go up with easy there easy there easy there so now we go up 
with the stairs. No, no, I don't want to connect the stairs there. Okay, down, down. Which is J, by the way. Okay. All right, now we'll go ahead and go up. There we go. Nice, that wasn't so bad. It took me like a minute to, there, look at that. Look at that, and oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cool. There's so much that I'm going to need to learn in order to really make this look as beautiful as I want it to. But we're here together, and then we're going to look back months later and be like, yes, behold, our beautiful Zudesia. Are we not so proud that we have accomplished much? It'll be amazing. All right, let's go ahead and I want to expand onto our habitat with more barrier. So I think I need to like start over here. And I do want people to be able to kind of like walk under the pandas a little bit, but I, I think I unfortunately didn't make that path <laughs> uh, very long. So maybe we could have another bridge in the future. But we, we could actually have it go under somewhat now that I'm looking at it. So let's have some curves. Nice, it looks so much better curved. All right. And then I'll just leave that side a little bit lower and hopefully nobody will try to escape. The sun is coming out. We're expanding to have Panda Mountain at the back, which makes me really happy. We'll turn some of these into glass in the future too. There we go. There, so we'll connect that. We'll build like a little mountain in the middle and make that really nice, I'm hoping. That's my, my dream of what we're gonna be doing with this. And then I think what I want is for the path to also come around and like look at this side so you can see them from both sides. <gasps> Our pandas are interacting again! Our pandas are interacting again! They looked at one another, that's good enough for me. <laughs> they want more enrichment and more hard shelters. Oh my gracious. Oh, she potted him! <gasps> oh you guys, oh you guys, hang on, hang on. There's love in the air. We need to have some like proper settings here. They need to be able to feel like all of their little panda best. This is, this is, okay, I'm so excited. I can't even think about like what direction to go in. Give me, give me the biome. Give me the temperate plants. Give me some flowers. Ooh, some azalea bushes, come on. Can I put like a little cherry blossom tree? Okay, I'm putting like a little cherry blossom tree back down here. I'm gonna put a little cherry blossom tree back down here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shove it into the ground <laughs> so that we have like a romantic backdrop for our pandas. We're gonna say they're cherry blossom bushes. They grow a little bit lower. Look at that, okay. And then let's see, where's the fountain bamboo? Cause that's gonna be, yes. The good stuff for being in nice clusters. There we go that I can add in right over here. What do you think about that? Very nice, very nice. Yes, I would like to, okay, come here, come here. We wanna rotate you, my friend. There, grab, where are you? There you are. And then we'll actually grab you and dip you down. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> And suddenly our pandas have like their own little private paradise. Little panda paradise. Is this, is this a sign? Despite their struggles, will we be having panda babies? I think we need to get a researcher on top of this. I love the new backdrop back here. A little at a time, we are improving their lives, my friends. Ann does not seem to be pregnant just yet, but I'm sure if we improve their food and their welfare, we will get there. They are responding to one another and we are preparing to expand their place. We have got paths, we have got names, things are going great, people are not showing up as much. We need to add more animals. <laughs> oh, bye, hey, JB. All right, all right. I'm one happy panda, you could say, and I hope that our pandas will be very happy soon too. 
But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Didi and On. Look at that, when he sat down there were ripples at the lake! And the fact that they are part of our lives now, and so is our wonderful flamingo flock, and we are building up their world. This is... I adore all of this. Oh, taking a nap in the water. This is probably Dee Dee. <laughs> oh gosh. If you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, including the ones where we have panda babies, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye